Hello my friends, and welcome to this short time out of gameplay footage with um, two articles about something we all like, food. And seeing that we all deal with food, these two articles were submitted by Ryu. I don't feel any good as much as you do after reading this. So, if you go out to McDonald's, the next time you go out to McDonald's, your chicken and your milk will no longer be the same. Of course, every time I go to McDonald's, um, I don't really eat eat chicken nor milk, so. Meh, there's that. So, this first article comes to us from the Daily Meal, All Things Food and Drink. Okay, so, McDonald's USA will work with its poultry supply chain to eliminate the use of human antibiotics in chickens. Okay. McDonald's. USA is moving toward the sourcing of chicken that has not been treated with antibiotics, important in human medicine, the company announced in a press release on Wednesday, March 4th. The transition, which will affect some 14,000 domestic McDonald locations, is scheduled for completion within the next two years. Farmers within the McDonald supply chain, however, will continue to use ionophores, an animal-specific antibiotic that is used to increase feed efficiency. In recent years, groups like the World Health Organization, the Food, Drug, Food and Drug Administration, and the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention have warned against the increasing dangers of using human antibiotics to treat livestock. A widespread practice that has spread increasingly. That's nice. Um, yeah, for all you payday lovers out there, bam, you got yourself an update. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, a widespread practice that has created increasingly more powerful strains of viruses and pathogens. As the New York Times points out, given that McDonald's is one of the country's largest buyers of chicken, the transition will have likely a major impact on the poultry farming industry. Additionally, McDonald's USA also announced that later this year, it will begin offering low-fat white milk and fat-free chocolate milk from cows not treated with the artificial growth hormone RBST. Uh, let's just say this, um, there's a thing about, um, doing something natural and doing something artificial, and like I said, whenever I go to McDonald's, I don't usually get a chicken sandwich, nor do I get, like, a milkshake, and even if I do get chicken, it's usually the chicken McNuggets I usually get. I mean, I, f I feel, that when you sort of mess with nature, nature will get its revenge upon, upon the person who messes with it. We have messed with nature for so long, that we even fool ourselves into thinking that what we, what is good and so good after all and that means take for instance earlier we we were talking about well i was listening to him saying that coffee is good for you is good for your um it's good for your heart now mind you i don't drink coffee as much but when i do it usually is <laughs> 
But when I do, I usually just have one one cup. And I have like a and I drink it out of a tall mug. It's not too big, but it gives me enough coffee to last me uh, you know, a few sips before I actually finish it. And if you and some people may have heard me sip my coffee during my let's plays. Of course, the thing is, what people say, what's good for you, what's bad for you, I see it as this. If it doesn't kill me, it's good for me. As long as it's, as long as it's not undercooked or anything of the like, as long as it's not rare or, anyth or anything like that, then, yeah, it's alright. Excuse me. It's alright. Go seriously. Cause seriously, you know, I like things that are cooked. I like things that you know are brown with a little bit of red, very or very little red. And on top of that, I saw a commercial about Jack in the Box's all natural burger. Now like now like I said before, I get kind of nervous when I see all natural. Because if it truly is all natural, and I've been to Jack and Bike before plenty of times. Or was it Carl's Jr.? I think it was Carl Jr. I yeah, it was Carl Jr., not Jack and Bike. I've been to Carl's Jr. before. And they talk about the all natural burger. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting my 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 products mixed up. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I was looking at a Carl's Jr. commercial, and you know, going away from you know the the eye candy, I just basically looked at what they were trying to sell, which was the all natural burger. Now, the all natural burger is supposed to be more, as they say, all natural, but still. When they say it's all natural, is it really all natural? There's, th there's still got to be a hint of something in there. Because they can't just say it's all natural. And, and it's just a ploy to make you buy their stuff. I mean, whenever I go to Carl Jr., I always get the bacon double western burger. I never get anything else because... Either, if I get something else, it's not going, it's, it's, it's probably going to be something from the Green Burrito. Because, yes, in, in where I live, it is, it is a fusion. Because there's a, there's a Carl's Jr. and Green Burrito. They merge together, just like KFC and um, Pizza Hut. Let's just say that when you get something from Green Burrito, sorry, I wouldn't say too much about it. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I can really care less about what McDonald's does to their chicken or their hormone-free milk. I don't, I don't drink milk from McDonald's. I drink soda. Excuse me. Uh, like I said, I don't really eat, I don't really eat anything other than what I usually eat, which is a quarter pounder with cheese or a double quarter pounder or something like that. Because I feel that, that fills me up. I, I have a quarter pounder with cheese meal, a large, a large soda, stay there for about an hour or so, do my thing carry my work, do my work, and whatnot, and, you know, whole spiel, and after that, I'm done, I, I leave, put the, um, put the tray where it's supposed to be, after cleaning, cleaning off my table and whatnot, yeah, I'm done, I go home, I ain't worried about that shit, 
It's only to certain people who feel they need something more natural, you know. And like I said to me, it's all on how it's all on how you want to do. If you want to go like, oh, it's it's unnatural. I would do that. No, no, that that's okay. You want to do it? That's fine. Yeah, that's okay too. But moving on, we have another article submitted by Ryu, and it is and since it is closer to Easter, well, it's only right that I share this monstrosity with you people, you good people of the interwebs. Because by the time I actually upload this, I'll probably be. I'll probably be gone off to work, or more more likely, be back by the time this video's up. So moving on. This was also submitted to us. Yes, to us by Ryu, and this is from Time.com. Peeps flavored milk is a real thing you can put into your body. Let me say this again. Peeps flavored milk is a real thing you can put into your body. I'm going to let that one sink, okay? I'm just going to let that one just meld in your minds for a moment. Go and say this. Should I shoot you now or should I shoot you later? I really have peeps and I don't really, I, I, I just don't really, i just not into that. Really, I'm not into peeps. But since we're talking about this, well, would you drink it or chicken out? Prairie Farms is releasing peeps flavored milk for spring and no, this is news is not some horror scene from the Peeps movie that may be in the works. Oh god, there's a Peeps movie in the works. Oh, fucking. Oh god, really? Oh. 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 Starting the first week of March, Peeps milk will be available in three flavors. Marshmallow, reduced fat chocolate, marshmallow, and reduced fat Easter eggnog. All of which sound more flavorful than regular peeps, which generally tend to taste like plain sugar. Up to you whether you want to dunk peeps into the milk or use it as pools of water in any of your upcoming peeps diorama contests. Okay. <clears throat> now. If I may say so, if I may say this, if I may say this, <sighs> peeps, normally you would eat these things. That's all right. They're pretty good. Marshmallow milk, I do not know. Chocolate marshmallow milk. Mm, I mean, really, really, if I really wanted it, if I really, and I do mean if I really, 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 really wanted to have some chocolate milk, I'd, I'd get some natural chocolate milk. Some chocolate marshmallow, I don't care. It's like, not all milk is good. I mean, if it has, if it has certain, certain certain things in it, I should say. If it has something like that does not belong in milk, it's gonna make me puke. You see, naturally, I'm 
sort of um, lactose intolerant. Sometimes when I when I was younger, <clears throat> when I was younger, I couldn't hold down milk. And milk, and the kind of milk I used to drink had something in it, and I couldn't digest it right. A couple years later, I drink lactate. Just to help me get it down much easier. That, or if it's natural, then it's different. If it's natural, I can digest it. If not, it has some kind of, if it has some kind of, hormones or something in it I can't drink it but peeps they got Easter eggnog chocolate marshmallow I think that would make me puke marshmallow not sure it might make me might make me puke I mean, I have never tried this brand of milk, Prairie Farms, and um, I went to the store earlier today. I didn't even see that. So it might be in select stores. Uh, Easter eggnog. Eggnog. It's not just for Christmas anymore. Oh, I look at this and I start thinking, oh dear God, what have we done and what are we going to do about it? And how and how much money are we going just to put in just to make this? Just to buy a, just to buy a carton of this. I mean, I see nothing wrong with milk, but it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, to those who would, to those who would answer answer this question would you drink something like this i mean i will try a glass and if it tastes good and, if it, and i can keep it down and she, yeah sure but i but with everything as weird as today as today in this in this age is you can never be too careful even with this you can never be too careful with food and drink because most people most people they would they would get either too much sugar in their system because of the sweetness and then there's and then there's you know God willing whatever else that there is that you will find in said milk. But in any case, if you want to check out these articles for yourself and read them, be my guest. I will have the links in the description box below. And feel free to comment about what kind of weirdness the world has wrought upon us today. So until then, I have been the Tekaichi of gaming, and more than likely later on, we will have more game, We yeah, we will have more game videos as usual, and hopefully by this weekend, we might make some progress in whatever we try out. So until next time, take care, God bless, and always. Tenkai Musou.